Spoofing and phishing are different, yet their attacks shake multiple industries, incurring colossal losses of data and money. Here's how to detect them. What is spoofing? Spoofing is the approach used by attackers to smartly convince the receiver to hand over sensitive information. They pretend to be someone or something else to gain access to this type of information. Examples of spoofing A few common examples of spoofing include IP spoofing IP spoofing is the kind of spoofing where hackers create an IP address with fake details of the IP source. Spoofing is especially common during DDoS attacks, as hackers target an organization or a device without worrying about exposing their origin. Email spoofing Here, the malicious attackers send emails to people using fake sender addresses that require you to input sensitive data, which they can later exploit. Website spoofing Hackers create a website that looks real, but then they ask you to install some software by clicking on a strange link. Neighbor spoofing the actor will earn your trust by saying they know you personally. They will then reveal your private information and scare you into complying. Good examples of this are calls from a bank, where the caller will pretend to be a manager so they can steal your personal data. What is phishing? Phishing takes place when malicious hackers craft and send messages that make them appear as a reliable entity or a person, similar to spoofing. The biggest difference, however, is that the text is manipulative enough or includes some sort of fabricated plot to pressure you into giving them sensitive info. How do spoofing and phishing attacks affect various businesses? Spoofing and phishing attacks are bad news for all industries. The name of the game is manipulation. The main player is intimidation. And you're the main target. Loss of important data. The most common consequence will be loss of data. For example, your bank holds the information of several customers, clients, and stakeholders. The hacker will face no barriers to entering the organization's system. He will be imitating a representative of the bank. He will call an employee and intimidate them to give away personal information. Damages reputation in the market If your bank has been a victim of a cyber attack, are you more or less likely to trust it? Spoofing and phishing attacks raise questions about the security of the business and leave fearing that they might be exploited in the future. Loss of money Not only will the bank have to reimburse you and the other victims for the theft, they will also have to do damage control advertising to regain their reputation. What threat detection solutions should be applied for protection? Here are three most common ways to protect yourself from phishing and spoofing attacks. Learn what a phishing scam looks like. Keep yourself updated and read about new forms of phishing attacks. Install anti-phishing add-ons. Anti-phishing add-ons are available for free, keeping you alert at the first sign of trouble. Organize security awareness training. To prevent phishing scams, organizations should partake in security awareness training. The more your employees know about phishing scams, the less likely it is to scam them. Spoofing and phishing are different, yet have disastrous effects. If you would like to know more about the intricate world of cybersecurity, don't be shy and smash that subscribe button. If this video was useful, don't forget to like it and watch another one on our channel.